What's up guys, it's Ryan Casey and today I'm bringing a, the Q&A video that I told you guys I was gonna post about on Instagram. Um, I posted this picture and uh, that's probably gonna be the thumbnail to this video. And I posted this picture and I said, leave your comments down below. And I actually got 401 comments. So last time I did this, I think I got like 150 to 250. So 400 is a big number and uh, yeah. Let's get to some of these questions. Okay guys, first question, how many supplements do you take? So right now, I'm only on one supplement and that supplement is whey protein. I'll take a picture of the protein I take and post it right now. And uh, yeah, that's the protein I take. Okay, and also, um, these, these questions are gonna be one question I look at and answer and then one question Logan answers. So Logan, you wanna say hi for a quick second? What's up guys? How's it going? Good. Okay, Logan, what's the next question? Um, when are you gonna start your own brand? Okay, guys, so I've given this a little thought, but um, I actually don't really know. Like, I, I, um, I'm contemplating between doing RC Aesthetics as a brand or Ryan Casey as a brand. I feel like I might start with RC Aesthetics and then move on to, you know, my own name if I wanna do, you know, multiple things, not just like a clothing brand or supplements. So um, I think, I don't know, for right now I do RC Aesthetics as like maybe a clothing brand, but that'll be maybe uh, maybe a year from now or six months from now, not anytime soon. Who are your biggest inspirations? So my top two biggest inspirations are my dad and Christian Guzman. And actually my dad's right here right now. You wanna say hi, dad? Hi guys, dad, <laughs> oh, Sean Casey here, man. And uh, <laughs> We'll get back to you soon. He'll answer a few of the questions that I don't know exactly how to answer. Okay, so now let's get on to the next question. Ooh, this is a question for Sean. Oh, tips for building big legs. Tips right. for building big, big legs. legs. My dad has that question. Thanks guys, everyone that has big legs does squats. Squat is the number one exercise for big legs. Squat with good form. Learn how to squat well, the strength will come and you will be blessed with huge legs. Eating plan, um, I will show you guys what I eat throughout the day in a video coming up within the next month, I think. I'm gonna do like a day in the life and a day of eating and I will definitely show you guys every single meal I eat. What made you want to train and why? So if you guys haven't seen my transformation video, um, I explained uh, what, how I became um, a bodybuilder and everything. Um, I actually really wanted to spend time with my dad and grow my relationship with my dad because um, back then and now he works 14 hour days and so I barely got to see him because you know he'd come home at night and he'd only be home for an hour and you know he'd want to like rest and everything and he'd be super tired. I mean we spend a little time together maybe on the weekends and you know maybe with, within that hour to two hours uh, at night but you know I took it upon myself to go to the gym you know go where he worked and uh, spent time with him there because that was my main goal at first. I said, you know what? I need to go to the gym because that's where he works. He owns his own gym. And uh, I need to spend time with him because I want to you know, grow my relationship. And uh, as uh, that happened, I actually fell in love with bodybuilding. So uh, that's the story. Dane underscore McQuillan. Dane, who's Dane? Who takes your pictures? Who, who takes my pictures? Yeah. You do, Dane. Shout out to Dane McQuillan. Uh, here's his Instagram right here. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to follow him, he posts super good pictures and uh, he takes some of my pictures too. Do I play any sports? Uh, not at the moment. Before I did bodybuilding, which is about two and a half years ago, um, I, did I was on a tennis team and a swim team, but uh, I'm just focused on lifting right now. What's your waist size? My waist size? What did you say my waist size is, Dad? Like around 30 inches? 30 inches? Yeah, right now. Yeah, it depends. I mean, I'm more of in. Uh, I'm I'm bulking right now. Um, I was just actually on a four week cut for something, but um, right now I'd say my waist is around 30 inches. When is my birthday? Uh, my birthday is March 14th. Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? Um, well, I definitely see myself um, working together with my dad with his new program and his new institution. You guys will find out about that uh, more in the future, six months to a year from now, or maybe even sooner. I just gotta talk to my dad about it. And um, yeah, uh, we'll talk about what his uh, you know, new company is in some more videos. 
Also, one of my other goals within five years, which is actually probably going to happen within this year too, is to just travel around the world and uh, meet the people that follow me and try to inspire them even more when I meet them. Um, that's one of my big goals. Uh, another one is to have my own brand. I still don't know what that's going to be, but I will definitely be running my own brand and my own company. I'm not really familiar with this name, but David Lade. I don't know. But... David, David, <laughs> like, David Lade. Like, who the fuck? <laughs> he Bro, no one knows him. It's not like he's like transformation video got like four million thought, views in like a couple yeah, months. Yeah. It's like no one knows him. Um, what does he have? He's wondering if you want to play badminton. Badminton? It's on, bro. We're gonna play. When we meet, man, we're gonna play. What size do you wear for athlete shirts? So right now, I'm wearing a medium in my athlete shirt. I am wearing one right now, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I wear medium basically in all clothes. So uh, bottoms and top. Would you ever consider strength training? No! <laughs> yeah, of course I would. Um, I, I implement a little bit of it into my program right now. I mostly do hypertrophy. That's what I've mostly done throughout the two and a half years that I've been lifting. But uh, yeah, I definitely consider strength training. Even, you know, like I said, I implement a little bit of it already. Did you stay off sugar during your transformation? So I mostly eat pretty clean. I probably had sugar here and there. You know, I wasn't trying to diet or anything. I was kind of just progressing from you know, where I was as a super skinny kid to, you know, where I am now. So, um, I was eating a bit of sugar, but mostly it's all clean eating. It's not even a recording. Are you kidding me? Just kidding. <laughs> um, Last question from Logan, guys. He has to leave, sadly, but uh, you guys will see him in the vlog that I am uh, taking tomorrow. Yeah, let's vlog it. What's your max, what's your max bench? Okay, guys, so, um, I don't normally bench. Um, I mean, I think I've told the story before as, as, as of why I don't bench. Um, my shoulders are kind of uh, not aligned, so if I was to use like a straight bar, it would kind of put it at a weird angle for me and I wouldn't, you know, grow correctly. So, um, I did try one time when my friend was trying to get a max rep. Um, I kind of jumped in and I think he was doing like 200. And I was like, okay, let me try 200. Even though I'd done chest the day before and I was super sore, um, I was like, okay, let me just try it. And I had never really done a max at all before, but it actually felt really good. I got it up, down, and they were like, okay, just go for 225. And I was like, what? I should? And then uh, they were like, yeah. So I went for 225 and I got that pretty, I, I mean, it was decent. It was a little bit of a struggle, but it went up pretty fast. And I think I have a video of my third dime doing a single of 225 that day. So I'm gonna post it right now, if I have the video. Okay guys, Logan has to leave. Yo, no, Logan, sit, sit down. Shout out your Instagram, bro. Okay, my Instagram will pop up right here. Peace out. <laughs> what state do you live in? So uh, right now, I'm living in Washington State. I was actually born in Maui, Hawaii. Lived there for the first five years of my life and then uh, moved to Washington. And uh, right now, I'm living in Bellevue, Washington. Have you ever thought about competing Actually guys, I have a lot, basically within like the first year I was, I was like, maybe I should do a competition. So I think this summer, the summer of 2016, I will actually be doing a physique competition. So uh, be on the lookout for that uh, series. You know, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make the name of the series, cause I'm gonna make it like a series for YouTube videos. I'm probably gonna make it super, super, super original, the title. Probably something like, like Summer Shredding, you know, cause no one's used that before. So yeah, not like Christian Guzman. What do you eat for breakfast every day? So actually, it's like a basically a staple, um, as Christian Guzman would say, in uh, my meal plan. So I always have five whole eggs and two cups of oatmeal, two cups of cooked, cooked oatmeal. With uh, sometimes I'll have blueberries and uh, sometimes I'll just have cinnamon and nothing else, just to keep it clean. Bruh, that was my dad. What are your thoughts on barbell bench versus dumbbell bench? And do you do both of them often? So, I really only do dumbbell bench and I normally do, I do flat press and incline press with the dumbbells. One of the main reasons I use dumbbells is because, like I said previously, my uh, shoulders are kind of unaligned. So, using a, a straight bar would kind of, you know, it would just be weird and uncomfortable. So, dumbbells, you know, you're pretty much, you know, pretty free and it works more to stabilize the muscles than it does with the barbell. How long did it initially take you to start seeing improvement in the way your body looked physically? What would you say, Dad? Three months? 
So I guess my dad noticed development in myself within the first three months, and I think I did around there three, for the first three to four months is when I uh, saw improvement physically. Okay, I really gotta pee. Will you ever do online training? So guys, I actually have been thinking about this within the past few weeks. My dad pitched the idea to me. I think I will actually pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that if you guys wanna get some online training from me and my dad because he's had over 30 years of experience in this industry. So um, he'd be helping me out with that, be on the lookout. How do you balance school and lifting? So guys, actually for the past two and a half years, I have had a really, really hard time balancing my school and my lifting, but within actually the past month, I've been trying to clear that up and it's actually been working out really well. So right now I'm actually sitting in a conference room and uh, me, Logan, Bryce, and Stefan, we actually all come together in here for two hours every single day and we do our homework. So I, I, I do school, get home, eat a meal, take like a 30 minute break just to watch YouTube videos, and then uh, I'll come here to the conference room which is right above the gym. I will uh, just do homework for two hours with everyone. And you know, doing it in a group keeps each, you know, we keep each other accountable. So it's really nice that, you know, everyone is gonna be here at four, so you should be here at four too. You think that way. You come in here, if you need help, you ask your friends, and you just do two hours, get it done, and then go lift. So that's what I've been doing for the past month, and you know, it's really been working out for me. Okay guys, this is actually the last question. This comes from Sean underscore vlogs. Shout out to you, man. Here's the question. How much of an assistance was your dad in terms of training and meal planning, as he's obviously done it for numerous years, so you're in an awesome position? I definitely am in an awesome position. So, dad, the first four months, we worked with Ryan's form, posture, and movement, connecting his mind and the muscle. After four months, we developed some programs and some splits and different uh, training principles. But after four months of giving him a good foundation, he's been doing his own thing uh, with friends. And you know, every once in a while, I'll still fine tune him on some of his form, on his squats and his movements, and definitely changing up his program, his intensity, and adding in some training principles that he was not aware of, just to mix it up and keep him growing and changing and keep it interesting and always learning. And you know, the body adapts so quickly, so you wanna learn new things to uh, challenge your mind and your body, and that way you're gonna grow and develop an awesome physique in a balanced way too. Um, that's the main ingredient, you know, making sure all your opposing muscle groups are getting work the same amount every week. Right now, after two and a half, almost three years, He's you know, pretty much doing his own thing, teaching a lot of friends, training friends. Uh, Ryan's just now starting to uh, do some online coaching and he's gonna be promoting it more and more as the new year begins. And uh, yeah, and as far as nutrition, I've always eaten clean through the years. So just by me and, and Ryan being around each other and he decided to wanna eat clean like I do. And then of course, uh, me fine tuning and giving him some meal plans when he wants to do like a lean bulk or cut down. And also I'm always getting him off the sugar. Sometimes Ryan eats a little too much sugar. I had a lot of brownies today. So I get him back on track. Uh, we eat a lot of meals together. And then we plan for the week. And I make sure he gets enough protein, enough, enough good fats, uh, and then some clean complex carbohydrates, sweet potatoes, yams, and uh, like that okay guys that was the last question as you guys heard me say and so uh, I think this is the end of the video make sure to follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on the next question and answer video my Instagram is RC underscore aesthetics and uh, yeah see you guys in the next video peace peace <sighs>